It's actually wild how often I get the question, why is my catalytic converter getting red hot? Let's just say if your tailpipe looks like it belongs in Mordor, you've got some drama. Spoiler, your car is giving you a massive hint that something is off. So a catalytic converter isn't supposed to look like a little toaster under your car. We're talking about temperatures easily above 1200 degrees Fahrenheit when it glows red. That's steel melting territory. Basically, your car is auditioning for a fireworks show. Unburned fuel is usually the villain here. Your engine's job is to ignite the fuel, but if some slips past, maybe due to a bad spark plug or injector, it ends up burning inside the catalytic converter instead. Ever hear popping noises on deceleration? Same deal. Everyone loves a misfire until the repair bill shows up. That classic check engine light you're ignoring? Often, misfires are hiding behind that little warning, which means there's raw fuel getting dumped into the exhaust. Not good for your wallet or the ozone layer. Even a tired old oxygen sensor can stir up this red-hot fiasco. It tells the engine computer ECU how to mix fuel and air. If it's sleeping on the job, you might get way too much fuel, and boom, your catalytic converter is on fire watch. Pro tip, if you notice sluggish engine response, rough idling, or that weird sulfur rotten egg smell, do not think I'll deal with it later. Those are the receipts your car drops before the exhaust turns into a smelting furnace under your seat. Let's get a little visual. A healthy catalytic converter flows exhaust freely, but if it clogs up from old age, oil burning, or just the aforementioned molten metal effect, pressure builds, heat skyrockets, and you've basically got a rolling barbecue. Another curveball. People sometimes think more fuel equals more power. Negative. If you start messing with performance chips, faulty mods, or bigger injectors without a proper tune, you're basically volunteering your cat for an early death via heat stroke. Quick step by step. One, check for trouble codes with a cheap OBD2 scanner. Two, look for obvious misfire clues, jerky idle or lumpy acceleration. Three, inspect spark plugs for wear. And four, don't ignore odd smells or visible smoke. Do not pass go. Numbers make it scarier. A glowing catalytic converter can reach 1300 to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to melt parts of the undercarriage, burn wiring, or even cause fires. Insurance companies get twitchy over this, since catalytic converter fires love to trash whole cars. Here's the kicker. It's usually way cheaper to fix a bad spark plug sensor or leaky injector now than to replace a fried catalytic converter later. We're talking 10 to 70 fowlers for sensors versus 600 plus for new cats. Trust me, the math is brutal. So, if your catalytic converter is red hot, it's your car's way of screaming for help. Get it checked before you're riding in the world's hottest Uber, your own. Portland's full of cars, but don't let yours be the one lighting up Hawthorne at 2 a.m.